Good evening and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews with me, Dave the Beer Dad, back again for another uh, beer review. Although it's not, it's a fanzine time, it's fanzine unboxing. I think what's a fanzine 23, 24, something like that. But well, there it is. Turned up, um, turned up yesterday, um, but I wasn't in Liverpool to pick it up. So I, I'm a, probably a day behind putting this up. So there's probably already videos of this being unboxed already all over the the internet and all over YouTube, but here we go. So as usual, £11 a month, beers from BrewDog. Um, you can do it all on the BrewDog website, which I'll put a link in below. Um, it's new beers, small batches, experimental beers, um, versions of other of beers. Um, Pulp Patriot, for example, OPG, have all started off in fanzine. Um, so, without further ado, <coughs> let's open this up. Let's see what we've got. <coughs> I've seen some spoilers on Facebook, on the iHardcore Blue Dog um, Facebook page. So I've got a vague idea what's in it, but I haven't seen, really seen any kind of heavy information about them. So, as usual, oh, it's been. Uh, Issue 23, as usual, you get the fanzine card. Um, big advert on the back for the equity for punks. So let's have a little look then, see what we've got. Where are we? First one then is a double IPA at 7.3, and that's Death of, of Spring. Death of Spring. Um, ATIVUs. Um, I'll do all the, the stall, the molten hops and whatnot when I come to review it. Double IPA, right up my street. There you go, nice little orange can. Like the look of that. Um, <clears throat> then we've got a uh, Kirsch Kaiser, or Kirsch Kaiser, uh, which is a 3.1% cherry Berliner Weiss. Nice. I like that. I like that a lot. That'll be good, hopefully. And then the last but not least is the, is waiting a massive 10%. Is melancholy selfie, which is an a chocolate orange stout. Now, a couple of days ago, I reviewed a chocolate orange stout by um, no, chocolate orange porter, sorry, by um, Glen Africa, and I wasn't impressed. Hopefully, this baby might be something a little bit different. Um, so there you go. So that's this month's uh, fanzine three. Um, I'll be reviewing them in due course probably tomorrow. I'm um, not long got back from an exp um, excursion to York again. Um, the only this time was work with work. Um, while I was there, I tried the core range of what was left of the York Brewery: um, Guzzler, York Terrier, um, something Ghost. I can't remember what it was called. No, Centurion's Ghost. And the ministerial or ministerial ale, they were all, they were all in bottles. It was five pound fifty a bottle. So I was staying in a hotel. Um, they were all right. They weren't fantastic. Probably better on <coughs> on cask than than in, 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 a, in a bottle. Probably better on draft than they are in a bottle. Um, I didn't think much of them to be fair. And certainly for five pound fifty, it's a bit expensive. But it was a captive audience in a hotel. Anyway. Um, yeah, so these will get done in due course, um, and I've got a bit of a backlog here already. Um, I will show you something that I did bring back with me um, to gin, um, and it's York's York Gin's Outlaw, um, fifty-seven percent AB, um, ABV, yeah, fifty-seven percent. Um, that's just going to get put away. It might be another year. I go anywhere near that. Anyway, video done. I'm, like I say, I'm not going to do a review tonight. I don't think it's only early. I am, but I'm certainly going to review these other these three brew dogs over the weekend. So keep your eyes peeled. I am, again, comments if you want. Link to the brew dog where you can go and buy the fanzine. Like I said, it's eleven quid a month. I am, I'll see you in the next one. Hail the ale and happy drinking.